Motorsports. Why don't you tell people about that a little bit, for people that might not know? Yeah, uh, we just finally announced, it was announced prematurely uh, like Thursday, but uh, I had to keep it kind of hushed inside of a few people. But, um, we're, uh, we finally announced today that we're KBM uh, through JGR. Um, we're bringing Toyota and Coca-Cola on board, so I think it'll be a great year. we got a full ride. We're gonna, this first race is in two weeks at Daytona, so it's going to be a great time. Are you going to be running any nationwide races this year or just some trucks? Uh, we're working on nationwide stuff right now. That's uh, working with JGR on that, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, right now, our main focus is on trucks. What do you got looking forward to most this year? Winning. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing is, you know, having fun. Uh, and performing well as best as I can. So you think you can win two or three races? I think so. Once I get the hang of it, Kyle lets me that's fine. So what what is a successful season for you in uh, 2020? Uh, we're going for a rookie of the year title. Okay. Uh, that would be cool to capture that. Uh, also, we're going to compete for the championship. And, uh, there should be no reason why we should be there at the end of the year. Uh, in the perfect position. If I do everything I can uh, to, to get the truck right. Well, thanks for taking time, and we look forward to seeing you in 2013. Sounds good. Here with uh, Matt Clark, and uh, as we look forward to 2013, we got the Gen 6 car. What do you think we'll see out of the Gen 6 car? You know, honestly, it is unknown. The car looks great. The little drafting that they did, it seemed to be okay, but honestly, going into Daytona, going into Vegas, when you really talk to drivers kind of off camera and stuff, you really don't know what we're going to get. It's, it's a great car. Everything looks like it's going to add up. George, we don't know if it's all going to be, you know, what it's supposed to be. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it races as good as it looks. Yeah. So who do you think will be your rookie of the year? Wow. You know what? That's just hard to say. I mean, it's hard to really pull against Stenhouse. I mean, he's got championships, he's got championships. So, I would say Stenhouse is your leading candidate. Then, who do you think will be the surprise person? Maybe a surprise person that takes it. You know what? I say this on race of the other I think Joey Logano makes the chase. With Todd Gord, Penske, and Penske, a motorsports and manufacturing. I, I think that uh, Logano might be the surprise. So, who's your pick for the Spring Cup? To a quarter, but I'm gonna stick with it. I, I said Brad K as a repeat, so I guess early February. I'm gonna stick with Brad K and probably ride that for you in the end. Great, thanks, man. I'll be right back. Speedway last year, and uh, as we get ready for 2013, what do you think we're going to see out of the uh, Gen 6 car? Uh, honestly, I think we see a lot of action uh, compared to the past years. Uh, mainly, they can actually race beside each other. Uh, I'd like to see a car come from five seconds back and be able to catch the leader or not get to the So that's the biggest thing. I love the, this new style of the cars. They're awesome. Uh, most, mostly, I'm just excited to get a race and start with that. So, who do you think is going to win Rookie of the Year? Rookie of the Year. I'm going to go with Ricky Stenhouse. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. Who do you think is going to be the surprise uh, person to make it into the chase this year? It might not be somebody else. It's maybe a big surprise. I'm going to say one Pablo. Really? Yes. Why do you think that? Because uh, the Ganassi car is just paired with. Motorsports and they're getting, I guess, their engines in the there. So I just think with better cars, I mean, Juan Pablo's going to be back to the form he was a couple years ago when he made the chase. Uh, if he can win a race, I don't know, maybe a road course, but that would be my uh, and, and what's your pick? Who's your pick for the Sprint Cup? I'm going to go the easy route and pick Jimmy Johnson. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Great. Thank you. Dane Moody, uh, a lot of people know him for Series 6M and 
Yeah. MS, uh, MRA, truck races, road races. But uh, as we look forward to 2013, what do you look? What do you think we'll see out of the Gen 6 car? I can't find anybody to say anything bad about it. Uh, I think it's it's going to be a real raceable car. Uh, body styles obviously are fantastic. People can really identify with. I think people are as excited about this race car as they have been probably a decade or more. Certainly more than they were again uh, before Gen 5. Yeah. And who do you think will be uh, Rookie of the Year this season in Spring Cup? That's a loaded question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, I think probably Ricky Stenhouse has got the experience advantage. Uh, he's obviously not going to lack for experience. I think he'll be great to yeah. And uh, what surprise team do you think you've seen the chase that we didn't see last year? Boy, that's a tough one. Uh, you know, Michael Walter Racing obviously was the surprise team a year ago. You know, the, the neat part about it is you just never know. You never know who's going to upgrade their program. Uh, you know, I think it's more about drivers than teams. I think you know, the, the dominant teams are going to continue to be the dominant teams. And last question, who do you think is going to win those Sprint Cup championships? If I knew that, I'd be able to play against right now to put money on it. I don't have the one. I couldn't even give you 12 guys for sure to make the chase. Okay. Thanks, Dave. All right.